Today I'm going to be sharing with you all a foot scrub for extremely soft feet. Make sure that you stay tuned in this video because I'm going to share with you all exactly how I use this mixture. And you guys, this is one of the ways to get beautiful feet that you can only dream about. So first and foremost, of course, we are going to start by mixing up our mixture. So you're going to need a bowl and I will leave everything listed down below for you guys. And I'm going to add about one cup of granulated sugar. Now this is going to help to get all of that dead skin off and soften up the feet. I will also be adding in some extra virgin olive oil from Pumpian and this will be listed down below for you guys as well. Now you can also use coconut oil in place of this olive oil. So if you have coconut oil, don't worry, you do not need olive oil. And I'm going to pour about one cup of this into my measuring cup and I'm going to pour this over that sugar. It is now time to make sure that everything is nicely mixed together. So I'm going to be mixing the sugar and olive oil together and we are going to add in one more ingredient in order to soothe the feet and to make them feel good, you guys. Now this ingredient is peppermint oil. Peppermint oil is going to help your feet to feel nice and minty. It is also going to help with the process of getting off all that extra dead skin. You guys, peppermint oil was so soothing to my feet. I absolutely love the way that it made me feel and it also helped me to relax more during my pedicure process so i'm going to add in about four to five drops of peppermint oil and then we can mix that in and move on to the next step i don't think we got enough time to sort out all the fights yeah. I am going to put my mixture in a plastic container and I think that that is best for this mixture especially if you're going to be using it in the shower you know the glass bowl you can knock it over break it all types of things it's great for mixing up your mixture but once that mission is complete honey make sure that you apply it in a bowl as to where you can store it safely and not have any issues with tipping it over so I'm going to do that and I'm going to put my top on now this is not a mixture that you have to leave to sit overnight or anything like that as soon as you make it you can go ahead and get right to using it and that is what I'm about to do so I put out my foot spa at home pedicure system from Conair which I will leave listed down below for all who are interested and I'm starting by washing it out it needed a nice rinse because it had been sitting for a little minute you guys and what I'm going to do next is run some warm water in here now you guys make sure that you run this water warm enough as to where once you are ready to soak your feet and you have everything all set up you will not have to worry about the water getting cold on you and I know that you guys saw me flash that vinegar up there. I will be using vinegar in my water in order to ensure that all that dead skin is nice and removed. Also, if you guys do not know, a lot of people use vinegar in order to cure fungus and different things like that. So it's going to help with the process of making your feet nice, pretty, and soft. So now I'm going to place my feet in the water and allow them to soak for about 10 to 15 minutes. You guys, this foot soaker is an absolute lifesaver, but one thing that I did notice is that it did not get all of the residue from the scrub off. I'd more so recommend doing this scrub while you're in the shower. To me, that will give you the best results. And also, it will get all of that extra product off because as you all will see towards the end of this video, honey, I still had sugar crumbs left over, which are fine um, because of course I'm going to take a shower. But you know, you don't want to walk around with that all day if you happen to do your scrub earlier in the day after you've already taken your morning shower and you won't be taking another one till later y'all know what i'm talking about so anyway i'm about to soak my feet and you guys this was just extremely relaxing for me i need moments like this because for those of you all that do not know i work most of the day so it's nice to give yourself a little time to pamper yourself okay so i did that and this is also great if you're like me and you're scared to go to the nail salon at this current moment in time because of everyone getting sick you can do this at home 
So I've now pulled out my scrub and what I'm going to do is get me a nice little chunk of this up out of here you guys. And I'm going to apply this to my feet and now I'm going to do one foot at a time. And this was also very relaxing. It wasn't tickly or anything like that you guys. It applied very nicely and it felt very good on the feet. I could feel it removing all that extra gunk and dead skin which I absolutely loved and enjoyed. And also not to mention that peppermint was very soothing and relaxing. And for those of you guys that are interested, I did do my acrylic toenails myself and also this French toenail design. You guys, if you all do not know this fun fact about me, my toenails are very, very fragile and I can't grow my toenails to the length that they are with my acrylic toenails that I have right now. So you guys, I just make sure that I add my acrylic on my toenails in order for them to grow nice, long and strong. So if you guys would like a tutorial on that, let me know down below and next time I redo them, I can definitely make a video on that for you guys. But it's very simple and very easy. I prefer to go to the nail salon in order to get my feet nice and get all the dead skin off and things like that but I don't like them doing my acrylic toenails because they don't put that love and care into them honey like I do okay so if you guys would like a tutorial on that let me know down below And I'm placing my feet back into my spa and I'm going to let them soak for about 10 minutes and after you finish soaking them the second time around this is your last time that you're going to have to soak them at this current moment in time you guys and after that is complete then you can simply remove your feet from the spa system and carry on to the next step. Alright you guys, so I'm turning off my Conair spa system and I'm removing my feet and you guys, next up I'm going to dry off my feet. Of course, this is the next step. Now this is what I was saying you guys about how the spa system didn't remove all of the extra sugar crumbs that were left over. Yeah you guys, as you guys can see, they are still there in full effect. But now as I look down at my feet and I'm editing this, it's been a few hours and they have went away. So hallelujah. Um, but you guys, make sure that you dry off your feet very well because we are getting ready to move on to the moisturizing step and this is one of the most crucial steps especially if you're getting ready to go to bed because after you apply this moisturizer you can then put a pair of socks on and go straight to bed you guys and your feet will be extremely hydrated and soft so let me share with you guys what I'm using I will be using the Nivea Essentially Enriched Body Lotion. Now as I told you guys in my hand scrub video, this is one of the most moisturizing body lotions that I own. It's absolutely amazing what it does for your skin. It's very thick and it soaks in nicely, okay? So if you have dry skin or if you just have some skin that needs a little bit of moisture, I definitely recommend checking this out because this is definitely perfect for this winter weather. And I'm making sure to get it nice and in between those toes, okay? Just give me one more. You leave me hanging, begging for more. Think that I'm addicted to this, can't resist to be a little risky and go for it cause I want you close. I'm so exposed when you're keeping me wondering. You know I do anything to be in your arms again. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. 
And last but not least, I'm going to be using some Vaseline in order to seal in that moisturizer. Now you guys, Vaseline works amazing for not only the body, but also for the feet, because this is going to help to lock in that moisture. Now, like I said earlier in the video, if you put some socks over your feet after doing this scrub, and also after applying these moisturizers, you all, you are on your way to some extremely soft feet, okay? And this is going to keep your feet in check. But for me, I only did these few steps, but if you add the socks, honey, okay. Listen, you can kiss the nail salon goodbye. You'll never want to go there again because those feet are about to be extremely soft, okay? So, nonetheless, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. This was highly requested, okay? My glam fam was going in on me like, girl, we want to see your feet. We want to see your feet. We want to see how you do your feet. So, here they are. And I hope that you guys enjoyed and found it helpful. If you did, please don't hesitate to hit that thumbs up button. And make sure that you guys check out the description box in order to shop for all things used in this video. Alright, I will see you guys in my next video.